Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, as we know that we are learning generative AI uh, specifically in the AWS cloud. So uh, today, one amazing productivity tool that we can specifically use, which is, uh, I think, available for everyone. And the name is Amazon Code Whisperer. So this is the page. Uh, we'll talk more about it. But uh, if you just want to know what exactly Amazon Code Whisperer does, uh, it's very much simple. Um, I hope everybody has seen GitHub Copilot, uh, where it provides general suggestion with respect to different kind of codes and all. So similarly, you can also use Amazon Code Whisperer, which is also now called as Amazon Q Developers. Okay, and this you can probably use to again get all the suggestion with respect to various codes and all. I will show you in this particular video how you can enable it in your VS Code. And uh, trust me, this is an amazing productivity tool altogether to do your work very much faster and quicker. Uh, at the end of this particular video, since I have used both GitHub Copilot and Amazon Code Whisperer, that is nothing but Amazon Q Developer. So I will be making a brief comparison about it. Uh, you know, most of the functionalities overlap, but uh, if I talk about Amazon Q Developer, it is specifically for some purpose. So when you are actually developing and let's say you are probably using AWS account a lot, uh, you are doing all your work specifically to AWS, then Amazon Q developer will be the better code suggester for you. Okay. So let me just go ahead and show you how you can probably enable it uh, for enabling it. It is very much simple. What you really need to do is that just go to the extension, right? And just search for Amazon Q. Okay. So Amazon Q over here, if you are probably suggesting, uh, if you're searching, you'll be able to see this right now. I have already installed it and you can also install it. Uh, let's see whether there is something called as Amazon Q developer also. I hope so we find it out if it is not there then we can specifically use amazon q so this is the extension that you really need to install and understand once you probably install you know in the left hand side there will be a box that will probably be opened wherein it will be asking you for the information uh regarding your aws account where you really need to log in just and trust me uh no credit card will be also required you just go ahead and log in into this particular account uh, with respect to your own personal email id uh it is also called as aws builder uh, which will specifically provide you the access to amazon q okay so there will be a page that will be probably coming up over here uh, it will ask you for the username password and it will tell you to authenticate from the aws account itself so once uh, that step is specifically done, then what you can do, you can just go ahead and exit this particular notebook and uh, exit the VS uh, Studio and restart it. Okay. Once you probably restart it, now you see the power of this. And I, as I told you, right, I've been using both GitHub Copilot and uh, uh, this one that is Amazon Q Developers. Trust me, both of them works am amazingly well whenever you're specifically writing the code. So just to give you a demo, right now my extension is enabled uh, and definitely use this for your coding purpose. It will be very much helpful also. So first of all, I will go ahead and write down the comment. Let's say write me a, write me a Python code or write me a function to perform, write me a Python, write a Python function to perform to perform binary search okay so i'm just asking one simple binary search okay okay now this is the comment that i've written now you can see amazon q is generating and right now it does not show you something right over here and also it depends on internet speed both respect to kind of suggestion and how quickly it also gives you so if i go ahead and just write definition over here and you know that the function is going to get created automatically just press tab and all the entire suggestion will be in front of you right so see, just understand like how good the productivity basically becomes right uh if let's say for the first time i am planning to write this particular function right and obviously i'll do some amount of google search um yeah i'm lazy i'll not remember each and everything and definitely unless and until there is not an interview i think you should you will also not remember it right so over here you can see that just by writing a comment and probably doing it automatically all the suggestion is probably coming up right so this is really really amazing right um let me just go ahead and do one more thing okay some more complex thing related to generative ai okay provide me a streamlit app to call open ai apis okay so let's say i am going and writing like this so the first thing is that i will uh, specifically go ahead and import streamlet as st okay 
now let's see import open ai i'm not doing it anything all the suggestion is probably coming from you know the amazon queue developer over here right so same thing has got imported but i think that part you can probably fix it if it is not providing any suggestion that basically means it is telling you to give one line of code a one line as an empty space and again now see it will not, if it is not suggesting you something just press enter go to the next line and again it will start suggesting you right so there it has probably created this message variable and now i think if generated oh session state also it is basically using which is quite amazing okay um okay past sessions everything over here it looks good again uh same thing i think no uh, this is also making sure that i think it is also saving this uh, prompt in the session state let's see if user not in session state how can i help you okay perfect i think this should be working fine but again unless and until i don't execute it there will be some amount of errors that will specifically be there now see uh, now what this has basically done it is that it is mostly hard coding things over here um you know uh, mostly hard coding things right with respect to my name is chat gpt and all so i think it is not doing that amazing job but when, with respect to github copilot that i found right uh, it was able to give me a good response and that is where i am going to make a lot of comparison okay so let's do one thing let's remove this again i think it is it is in that hallucination mode okay let's go to the new line or let's come after this particular function let's see what what suggestion it will probably give us okay now finally it is probably given this entire generate response function uh what you can basically do is that i think i'll not use even this session because i just wanted a simple uh this one right uh, so this is the function that i have actually created and you can also guide it uh, just not based on the suggestion you should probably go and just press tab right so generate response is over here here it is specifically uh, communicating with text tau and c02 um let me do one thing let me also go ahead and uh, make sure that create this open ai api key okay let's see open ai dot api underscore key and i will probably go ahead and set my api key over here uh after setting this particular api key let's see what kind of suggestion more it gives right so this is my messages return message okay so perfect i'm getting from this particular function my entire message this is my main session state again session state then again this message is append okay perfectly it is appending right it is appending with respect to the different roles and all so with some amount but see at the end of the day i'm not writing much code and uh, again what we see and why it is not that better when compared to the github copilot because i'll tell you a specific reason why it is not okay okay let's try one more thing okay so here i'm going to write a comment now see how the performance of this particular code will become better by using code whisper or amazon queue developer write a streamlet python code to invoke aws bedrock aws bedrock foundation models okay i'm just going to go ahead and write this right so let's see import streamlet as st more boto 3 okay perfect it is coming up okay perfect st dot title again a streamlet get the model name from the user perfect so enter the model name okay i will enter the model name what model name i specifically want uh enter the input data okay i'm splitting the data then input data will be this let's see what it is trying to do let's see input data finally i get over here print input data invoke the model okay perfect see boto3.client is basically used to invoke sagemaker runtime or you can also use it for aws bedrock okay so model name body input what i feel it is good enough get the predicted output see with respect to the boto3 we can basically just change this instead of writing sagemaker runtime i can write bedrock runtime okay so predicted response body good enough and this is basically my predicted output i guess so it is right enter the model name enter the input data so some amount so here you can probably see the code is well structured and what i feel is that see when i probably write a code and if you have seen my aws playlist where i'm specifically using uh, bedrock right uh, you can probably see it follows most of the similar structure so 
if i probably create a function if i try to write it much more in a better way and i cannot just depend on the entire application on this right so here uh, it has done a pretty good work right and that is where see why with respect to only aws work it is doing well because this entire product <laughs> is from yeah, amazon q developer is belonging to aws right so uh, just to make a brief comparison right or let's see uh, I'll, I'll just write like this okay uh, define a function to invoke uh, aws now see see this bedrock models okay and that is where you'll be able to understand so i'll write definition okay and uh, i will try to create a definition where i'll say call bedrock model done see this automatically all the things are done only the thing that i really need to change bedrock model endpoint define the endpoint sage make a runtime instead of writing sage make a runtime i need to also give the model name so model input is over here i have to probably create this payload from my side which is nothing but the same model input which i will be providing into this particular function now just to make a brief comparison between GitHub Copilot, you should understand that GitHub Copilot is specifically used for general purpose. And I also have that specific access. If I probably consider Amazon Q developers uh, assistant that we have, code assistant that we specifically have, it is used to do or it provides you good suggestion with respect to any kind of AWS task that you are probably doing in AWS itself. So just to make this brief comparison, so always try to make sure that uh, it is good that you should know this but again at the end of the day which is the most generic model uh, github copilot that is a kind of suggestion that i would like to give you to both are trained in huge amount of data but definitely if i talk about amazon q developer it is your generative ai powered assistant across specifically to most of the aws services and that is what i have actually found out by exploring all these things so i hope you like this particular video this was it for my side i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you and all take care bye, -bye.